All right, welcome back to another episode of Stitch Method. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to add more mystique and soulfulness into your playing. All right, with that being said, make sure you share and subscribe, and here we go. Uh, I wanna explain that, you know, um, there is this idea of listening to a guitar player and saying, wow, he's so soulful. And we're going to kind of look at three different kind of techniques to help put together to make you uh, a more soulful player, but also to project what you want. And so the listener, it's all about the listener. You know, you want the listener to say, oh, wow, that person's soulful. So if you can do these things, you're going to give off the vibe of being soulful and help develop your soulful playing. But also it's about trying to manipulate the listener to say, wow, that guy is soulful. You'll, you'll see what I mean in a couple seconds. All right, so I have this background jam. It's just A minor to a D minor. Check it out. <laughs> over and over again. And what I'm going to use to solo over this very simply is just the A minor pentatonic up on this 12th fret, okay? 12, 15, 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 13, 15, 12, 15. All right, and so the first thing that makes anyone sound soulful is their ability to stop playing. That's it. I have a video I made like two weeks ago, maybe one week ago, uh, about learning how to stop with your pick in your hand. And you, if you don't know how to do that, watch that video, but learning how to stop playing. If I'm, if I'm soloing and I don't stop playing, I am not soulful, right? If I just keep doing this, like... It's just, it just keeps on going and going. So your ability to stop, what do I mean by that? Well, take any moment in time and touch your strings and stop what you're doing. And the moment you stop, what you're doing is the listener is, is leaning in, listening to you, and then when you stop, you get their attention, you go, whoa, and they think. And so any line you do, instead of keeping on playing, stop. <laughs> simple. If you stop, now you don't have to do this the entire time. This is one ingredient. Stop playing. Let the note just stop and let your space and breath come in. All right. If you want to practice this stuff with me, check me out on Patreon. I have practice sessions all about this. So now stopping is number one. Another thing you can do is hold a note. All right. Now there are two places to hold a note at the beginning or not at the beginning. <laughs> right? And so there's impact. It can be beginning, middle, or end, but it's either at the beginning or not the beginning. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hold a note at the beginning, take a, take a listen, let me know what you think. Well, you just think what you think and uh, see what you feel. Here we go. <laughs> not the beginning. Stopping, holding, soul is perceived by the listener when you cut the conversation short and you let their mind fill in, well, what the heck just happened? We have more to do, all right? But the idea of soul, the way you can convey it is by letting the listener hear it, by giving them some space. Now, the third way, and then we're gonna start doing some combinations here. The third way is through a bend. A bend is probably a, 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 gr it's a great way to sell, sell your soul didn't sound good, uh, to make it, make it sound convincing. And so any notes, now I have a video linked, you know, up, up here somewhere called Bending in the Blues, and it's about which intervals you bend when using a minor pentatonic. You can check that out. Uh, it's really cool. Um, and so bending and holding, it, it goes the same, bending and holding. Uh, the bend, you know, the ear can hear the bend come from where, where it was and then get to where it's going and it has this inner tension. You might even be hitting a solid chord tone or hitting a great note, but the ear goes like, whoa, this came from, uh, from someplace. 
I can't wait for it to go back. So bending is, is huge for soul playing. <laughs> I'm bending and I'm holding, right? And this should all sound familiar. You know, all of your favorite guitar players, if you've ever said, man, they sound soulful, they have some of these ingredients. All right now, so we have three ingredients, stopping, holding, and bending. And you can do this any which way you want, and you can practice this, and you just wanna make sure that you're consciously practicing this, excuse me, so that it becomes part of you. It's not a practicing thing, it's just you start to feel it. But here's a little like, word of advice. There's nothing better than uh, playing a phrase, I'll show you. Playing a phrase, get some bends in there, stopping, and then playing a similar phrase and where you were about to stop, don't stop, keep going, and stop someplace else. Let me show you what I mean. So uh, I'll, I'll do it again, and I'll explain it again, but check this out. <laughs> So, I played a line, and I stopped. Then I played a similar line, and I didn't stop. And then, or no, then I stopped later. And that is a great, if you listen to some of your favorite guitar players, you're going to hear that type of move. They play a quick phrase, they stop. They play a phrase that's kind of similar and they don't stop where you think they are going to stop and they keep going. I'll do it one more time. Let's go. Here we go. the good old-fashioned stop, don't stop type thing. So hopefully some of these ideas helped you out and um, let me know in the comments. I hope you enjoyed being here. I enjoyed making the video. I'll stop talking. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again on another episode of Stitch Method. Bye-bye.